This West Toledo house looks like any normal home, but nearly a year ago, it was a crime scene. On November 2nd, 2012, Toledo police found the body of Katie Shepard inside this enclosed porch. Shortly afterward, her husband Kyle Shepard fled to Quebec, Canada, and has been there ever since. We uh, would like to uh, get on to the, uh, the court date as soon as possible, so, um, so we can have, like I say, closure. Katie Shepard's family is closer to getting closure. A Canadian court announced it would not stand in the way of extraditing Kyle Shepard back to Toledo. Katie's grandmother, Carol Enman, didn't expect Kyle's extradition to take nearly a year. Maybe two months, three at the most, and, uh, and it's here, it's almost a year uh, in November 2nd, and uh, uh, I just couldn't understand why it took that long. Shortly after Katie's murder, vigils were held in her memory. Now, dark stains are left from those lit candles, and most people have moved on. But Inman says in the months that followed, her family found support. We've talked to other people, and they've gone through the same situation we have, and we know that we're not alone. Inman says, like any family, they want justice, but she has a message for Cal. I think the message that I would uh, tell Kyle that um, I'm still praying for him, and I don't know what happened that day, and I just wish that our families could have known that there was a problem and that we could have helped them.